a question that we often get uh, here at Market with Mario is uh, who should we be following on Twitter? What types of accounts should we be following on Twitter? And the answer is twofold. First and foremost, the, the culture on Twitter typically is if I follow you, then you'll follow me back. So you want to start out by following uh, brands and accounts or people that you would wish to have follow you back. So if you're a local business in McKinney or Allen, it would make sense to follow accounts that are in McKinney and Allen because typically those are the people that are going to be using your services or, or buying your products if, if you're you know, a brick and mortar store um, and, and things of that nature. So uh, look for the you know, popular accounts in the city that you're in and not only follow those accounts, but follow the followers of those accounts because typically they're going to be right in your own backyard again. And all about the quality of followers and not necessarily the quantity of. Um, it's great if you have 20,000 followers, but if your business is in McKinney, Texas, and you have you know, followers in Seattle, Washington, and they have to be in your state to use your service, then that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I'd much rather have a concentrated um, number of people right in my own backyard. So that's first and foremost is follow people that you would hope to follow you back. Another uh, strategy that I like to use on our team uh, whenever we're managing an account is we'll follow accounts that could possibly tweet out useful information to uh, share with our audience. And for example, a, a plumber or uh, an air conditioning company, a roofer, someone of that nature where we're trying to market to homeowners, well, it would make sense to follow brands that give out tips, maybe HGTV, Home Depot, uh, Lowe's. You, you see where I'm going with this. Basically, accounts that cater to the home. So think about your business and who could possibly be tweeting out useful information or useful tips because it's always great to come up with your own content, but it's also nice to be able to share and retweet other people's content that's going to be relative to your audience as well. So instead of having to follow you and all those different other brands, they just have to follow you because you are the one source that's going to give them all this useful information, all these, all this value. And then when it comes decision time to pick this company over over your company, they're going to pick your company because, again, you've been in front of them on a consistent basis giving them value. So I hope this helps you in your Twitter strategy. Again, if you're too overwhelmed to manage all of your, your business needs and then also play around with Twitter, uh, let us know. That's what we do all day, every day. We love doing it, and we'd love to help you out as well. I hope you enjoy these tips. Uh, if, for more tips, please go to my website, marketwithmario.com, and go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Thanks.